everybody, today I'm sharing with you what I purchased at the Sephora VIB Rouge and VIB 20% off sale. So many of you guys enjoyed my kind of shopping suggestion, shopping guide, suggesting what you should buy video. So this is kind of in follow-up to that. I did buy a little more than I meant to, but sorry. So I just kind of wanted to share with you what I purchased, what what was going through my mind when I purchased it. And if there's any of these items that you really want to see me use in a tutorial or a review, please let me know down in the comments and I'll do my very best to make sure that happens. So let's get started. So I'm going to start off with the skincare products that I purchased. So I purchased um, another one of my Ulla Henriksen Walnut Complexion Scrub. This is my favorite face scrub. I use it all the time. I don't even know how many of these I've used up. Let's just say I've been using this since before it was in the tube. It used to be in a little jar. So this is my favorite scrub. I think it does such a great job. It's gentle, it's exfoliating, and when you find a product like this that you just love, just keep buying it, and honestly, when there's 20% off sales, you should be purchasing the items that you'd be purchasing anyways. And I'm almost out of this, so I'm happy to have another one. On the same trend, I purchased the Ulla Henriksen Clean Truth Cleansing Cloths, and I really enjoy these. Um, for taking off, I use night oils, and when I wake up in the morning, there's always some leftover oil. So I really enjoy using these wipes to kind of brighten up my face, freshen up for the morning, and remove all of the excess oil. Now, they used to sell these in 100 packs online, but they no longer ship to Canada, which sucks. Um, and the 100 pack was only $36, whereas the 30 pack is about 20 so it was such a good value. So with that in mind, um, because I don't really want to keep paying 20 bucks for a pack of wipes, I also picked up for $10, so all, by the way, all the prices I'm giving, if I give the price, are the price before the sale. For $10, so it was $8, was the Sephora Rose Cleansing Wipes. Now, I've never tried these, but they were only 8 bucks, and I thought, let's give them a try. 25 wipes in here, and they're supposed to be ultra, moisturi ultra moisturizing and brightening. So I was ho I'm hoping that I'll like these and that I can use these instead of the little Henriksen ones to save myself a bit of money. These are also going to be in a really cool $13 um, Canadian set for Black Friday. Um, so if I fall in love with these between now and then, I will definitely be picking up that set. So I picked up face wipes. Now continuing on the skincare trend, I purchased the Bliss Mask Appeal Radiance Revealing Rubberizing Mask. Um, I love rubberizing masks. I love getting them in spas because they just they just feel so good and so rejuvenating. And so the idea that I can have one at home for $15 sounded really cool. So I'm going to be trying this out soon and I will definitely do my very best to be sharing the results with you, whether again it's on YouTube or on one of my other social medias. But it looks like a little yogurt cup. And anyways, you just mix some water in there, it's like a powder. Mix it up and put it on your face. So I'm excited to give this one a try. And then finally, from Boishia, I picked up the Baby Soft Foot Peel. So um, I've seen these all over the internet for a while. You basically put these on your feet for like 60 to 90 minutes, and then you don't move around while you're wearing them, so I guess you just put them on in bed or something. And then um, about a week later, all the dead skin on your feet just starts to peel off. So I've, been, I've wanted to try these for the longest time, but there were always some kind of sketchy brands that I just didn't want to trust. And so, while well, this one costs more than some of the other internet ones, I feel like for something like this, I didn't want to take my chances. And I trust Boshia, I've used their skincare before. It's sold at Sephora, so I will definitely be reporting back. I don't know if you guys want pictures, but I'm excited to give this a try. Now, on to the makeup. Actually, before we get to the makeup, I want to share some of the gifts I purchased. Because again, it's kind of like the skincare, you know you gotta buy it. So my mom loves these Smashbox, um, they used, they don't make it anymore, but it's a Smashbox, um, like a soft wax that you put on your brows before you put on your powder. She loved that, and it's all gone, and it's not sold in stores anymore because everyone's all about the pencils. So I got from Anastasia Beverly Hills the Brow Priming Wax for her, so this will be in her Christmas gifts, so hopefully she'll enjoy that. And then um, the, with the Canadian Beauty Vloggers, we're doing a secret Santa, and why not purchase your secret Santa? So the rule is spend 30 bucks. So I spent $30 after the discount. So my secret Santa is getting the Too Faced Melted Matte Limited Edition Peppermint Mocha Scented Lipstick. And um, I actually reviewed this in um, 
my Too Faced holiday video. So definitely check that out. I'm wearing it the entire video. But um, really enjoy this and it was on her wish list. So I thought why not give her something that I know I love because I think she'll love it too. And the other thing on her wish list was this little set of Laneige Goodnight Kit which contains a mini water sleeping mask and a mini um, yogurt multi-berry yogurt repairing mask. So I'm going to put these together and I'm going to grab her like a little chocolate or something. Just something to make it really cute and festive. But this will be going to my secret Santa. And the best part, I guess, if my secret Santa watches this is she won't even know that it's me until it gets there. Um, and then let's get on to the goodies I bought myself. So I purchased for myself the Too Faced Time, Too Faced collab with Beauty Blender, which has a mini blotter, a full, sorry, a full size blotter Razzi, a mini candle light highlighter, and a full size um, Beauty Blender in limited edition baby pink. So I thought this was such a cute set. It was about 50 bucks, um, but I needed another Beauty Blender anyways. I've always wanted to try blotter Razzi, and I'll put this in a giveaway. And then um, Hourglass recent Hourglass um, ambient lighting powders, powders are super popular and they recently came out with minis of all of the colors. So I picked up the mini of Diffused Light and I've always wanted to try these but I was just a little skeptical of them. So I thought if I had a mini I could kind of see if I love it and then if I fall in love with it I can always buy it in full size. So I'm really excited to give this a try. Um, from Nude Sticks I picked up their Matte Lippy and Entice. I'm wearing it right now. And I love their mattes because they're not drying. I mean, they obviously look matte, but they are not drying on my lips. And also Nude Sticks is a Canadian brand, which is, of course, another thing to love about them. So again, I love Nude Sticks. I have so many of them, but I didn't have Entice. It's been kind of sold out in stores for a while, and I just think it's such a flattering nude on my complexion. So then we've also got from Bite, uh, their multi-stick in Brioche. and. Um, now, you guys will remember, Bite did send me some multi-sticks that I love, and um, they sent me six of them. They didn't send me brioche. I mean, there's like 26 of them, so there's no way they sent me all of them. But um, I keep on seeing other beauty, blur beauty bloggers wearing brioche, and it looks beautiful, so I'm excited to give this one a try. And then also from Bite, I picked up a double-ended Amuse Bouche lipstick duo, and one end is jam and the other end is opal so I'm really excited to give this a try and then last but not least something I'm really excited about it's a Huda Beauty lip contour set it contains a lip liner and two matte lipsticks I picked it up in Trophy Wife and Muse which are some beautiful kind of nudie movie shades so that is what that is everything I purchased in the oh and I got some random um, free samples most notably from Amica, the Nourishing Mask, which is like, this is like a full, like one single use, so that's exciting. So anyways, that is what I purchased in the um, Sephora VIB Rouge and VIB sale. I got everything for 20% off. I really did my best to stick to kind of my targets. I definitely stocked up on my skincare. I picked up some gifts, and then I picked up a few items that I just wanted to try. So anyways, if there's any of these items that you really want to see me use in a video or do a little review on, please let me know down in the comments and I'll do my very best to take that into account when I'm doing my film, my next round of filming. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I would love to know what you guys purchased in the 20% off sale. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I appreciate all of your love and support. It means so much to me. And yeah, so thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye.